Titanium is everywhere around us, quietly improving our lives. It's the metal in the jet engines that lift us safely into the sky, the frames of stylish glasses we wear, and even the implants that surgeons carefully place inside human bodies. Despite its widespread use today, titanium wasn't even discovered until the late 1700s, and it took nearly two more centuries before we learned how to effectively produce it. But have you ever wondered how this extraordinary metal is actually made, and what makes the process so special? Let's find out. To understand how titanium is made, we have to start at the source, the ground beneath our feet. Titanium isn't found freely in nature. It's locked inside minerals like ilmenite and rutile, hidden in rocks and sand. Australia, Canada, South Africa, and Norway are among the countries with significant titanium deposits where miners dig open pit mines to extract these valuable minerals. It's not an easy job. Huge machinery must shift tons of earth, separating the titanium-containing minerals from the surrounding rock and soil. Once mined, the ore isn't ready to become titanium just yet. It must first be processed to remove unwanted impurities. The ore is crushed, washed, and sorted, creating a concentrated form ready for chemical treatment. But here's the tricky part. Titanium bonds tightly to other elements, especially oxygen, making it notoriously difficult to isolate. For a long time, scientists struggled with how to extract it efficiently. The breakthrough came in the 1940s with Dr. Wilhelm Kroll, who invented the Kroll process, still the most common method used today. This process is where things get particularly interesting. The purified ore is heated with chlorine gas at incredibly high temperatures, around 1,000 degrees Celsius. This intense reaction forms titanium tetrachloride, a clear liquid that chemists humorously nicknamed tickle. But titanium tetrachloride is still just halfway to the metal we know and love. In the next step, tickle is carefully purified through distillation and placed into a sealed container with molten magnesium. Under precise conditions and in an atmosphere of argon gas, the magnesium pulls away the chlorine atoms, leaving behind pure titanium. But instead of a smooth, shiny metal, this initial result is something quite surprising. It looks more like a rough sponge, full of tiny holes and pockets of impurities. This porous material is literally called titanium sponge. Transforming this sponge into the strong, shiny titanium we recognize involves yet another step, melting it down. Huge electric furnaces or special vacuum arc furnaces are used, creating intense heat that melts the titanium sponge into liquid metal. This not only removes remaining impurities, but also turns the titanium into uniform ingots, solid blocks ready for shaping. These ingots aren't quite finished yet. They still need to be shaped into practical forms. They undergo repeated cycles of heating, rolling, hammering, and forging until they become sheets, rods, or plates, each crafted to exact specifications. This intensive process isn't cheap or easy, but the resulting metal is uniquely valuable. Why go through all this trouble for titanium? Well, it's because titanium is incredibly special. It boasts an impressive combination of strength and lightweight qualities, almost as strong as steel, but about half the weight. This unmatched balance makes titanium critical in industries like aerospace, where every kilogram saved increases efficiency, fuel economy, and safety. Its resistance to corrosion is another key advantage. Titanium doesn't rust, even in harsh environments like seawater, making it essential in marine construction and offshore drilling platforms. Moreover, titanium is one of the few metals that our bodies don't reject, allowing surgeons to use it for dental implants, artificial joints, and even heart valves. Yet titanium isn't just practical, it's also attractive. Its smooth, silvery finish and high resistance to scratches have made it popular in everyday products like watches, jewelry, smartphones, and laptops. It's a metal that effortlessly blends strength, style, and durability. If you've enjoyed learning about how titanium is made and want to discover more fascinating stories behind everyday materials, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to leave a comment below telling us what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.